Hello everyone. Let's provide a solution to this problem. Solution. We have 2x to the power of 2 equals 1 over 2x to the power of 2. Now, some persons will be thinking they can cancel this and this, but that is not right because we know that this is over 1 as well. So we have to cross multiply and it will give us 2x to the power of 2 multiplied by 2x to the power of 2. This is equal to 1 times 1. Now 2 times 2 will give us 4. x squared times x squared will give us x to the power of 4. And this is equal to 1. At this point we divide by 4 and divide this by 4. This and this will be gone, and x to the power of 4 will be equal to 1 over 4. Now, this is the same thing as x to the power of 4 being equal to 4 to the power of negative 1. Remember that we are to solve this problem completely. Because we have the highest power of 4, we are expected to have... Um, four solutions. Now x to the power of 4 here is equal to um, 2 to the power of 2 to the power of negative 1 because 2 squared will give 4. And we can always turn whatever we have here. This can come here and this can go there. So that x to the power of 4 will be equal to 2 to the power of negative 1 and this is to the power of 2. And now to continue with this, we say that x to the power of 4 is equal to 1 over 2 to the power of 2. Simple, right? Now, let's break this down so that we have x to the power of 2 to the power of 2 equal to 1 over 2 to the power of 2. The next thing I'm going to do is bringing this to the left. x to the power of 2 to the power of 2 minus 1 over 2 to the power of 2 is equal to 0. This is what we have. And now we can apply difference of two squares. So that we have x to the power of 2 plus 1 over 2 into x to the power of 2 minus 1 over 2. And this is equal to 0. Remember when I said that we are going to have four solutions, right? Now, from here, we apply zero product rule. So it is either x squared plus 1 over 2 is equal to zero, or x squared minus 1 over 2 is equal to zero. x squared is equal to zero minus 1 over 2 is negative 1 over 2. Or, on the other side, x squared will be equal to positive 1 over 2. And the next thing is this. We, we are going to take the square root of both sides so that x will be equal to plus or minus square root of um, negative 1 over 2. Or, on the other side, x will be equal to plus or minus square root of 1 over 2. This is what we have. And um, from here, we can say that x is equal to square root of negative 1 over 2 or negative 1 over 2. I mean square root. Square root of negative 1 over 2. Okay, this is plus or minus. So this is positive and here we have negative. But remember, the negative 1 over 2 will still come there. Then from this value, we can have our x to be equal to um, square root of 1 over 2 or square root of um, negative square root of 1 over 2. This is what we have. And um, from here, I want us to, okay, let's continue from here. This is the same thing as 1 over root 2 or negative 1 over root 2. Okay, so let's bring the four solutions together. 
very quickly. Okay, so this becomes our x1 and our x2 will be negative square root of negative 1 over 2. And then our x3 is equal to um, square root of 1 over 2. And we see this is the same thing as 1 over root 2. And now we can rationalize this by multiplying both the numerator and the denominator by root 2. Root 2. So that this will give us some um, root 2 over root 2 times root 2 will give us root 4. And that is square root of 4 giving us 2. So this is our, our third value of x then our fourth value of x x4 will be equal to negative square root of 1 over 2 okay and at the end of the day it will give us this but this time around it will be negative root 3 over 2 so here we have the the four values of x thank you for watching